Hey, this is Nico. Um, I just getting on here. I don't normally record videos or ever put anything out, but I had a rapture dream last night. Um, I feel like I'm definitely, definitely close with God. I'm, I'm constantly trying to self improve and, and do better and better. And um, I've I've read many things and seen video um, about rapture dreams, and I'm I'm a huge believer and definitely feel like. Christ is coming soon. I've, I've, I don't think I've ever seen Jesus before in a dream. Definitely haven't seen him in person, but um, because I saw him last night in this dream, I thought it would be important to share it. But uh, I was on a, uh, in my dream, I was on a family trip um, and I didn't really know who this family was. Like it, there were family in my dream, but they're not family I know of um, in real life. Um, I remember in my dream, um, just kind of go into the details. Maybe, maybe you could put some comments if you know what any of this means, but I had to go to the restroom, had to relieve myself, went to the restroom and it seemed like it took a while, like for that process to happen. Um, I remember like I, I was in a you know, change before I went to the store and I, I took my cousins, like one of my cousin's shorts, just randomly took their shorts and wore them. I don't know why, what this has to do with the dream. It may not be even be relevant, but Anyways, I remember next thing I know, um, I'm going to a convenience store with some family members and a guy I used to work with a long time ago. I also went to school with him. Um, I've known this guy my whole life. Haven't seen him in forever though. Um, at the store, when I was there, um, I saw my old boss. Um, I used to work for probably three or four years ago. I think back then she was probably in her 60s and in my dream, she looked like she was probably in her I don't know, mid eighties, early nineties. Um, so I don't know if that references like the time period that this was in, uh, but that would have to be like 20, 25 years from now that this dream would have taken place. So it was definitely a future dream. I felt like, um, in the dream, um, I was leaving the store and something happened where I looked up in the sky and there was the sun, uh, and there was an eclipse covering the sun the thing about the eclipse covering the sun was that there was a bunch of cracks uh in in what looked like it was the the sun with the eclipse there was a bunch of cracks you could see a little bit of light coming through the cracks that was really odd we started driving back to where we came from which was a vacation spot and then as we're driving uh look back up into the sky and the sun changed from being an eclipse into being a big looked like a big fire flame, kind of like an emoji, how the fire flame looks. The, the sun wasn't circular anymore. It was like it was burning up and had lots of fire around it. Um, definitely had a thought this could be the end of the world, obviously, with seeing something like that. It, it was definitely a dramatic event. And in my dream, I was talking to the people I was with in the car and we were like, well, what is going on? I gotta get to my family. I have a wife and two kids, one's a son, one's a daughter. When I got to the house, um, it was definitely early morning. It, it, it had to be like 5.45, 6 a.m. in the morning. That is what it felt like in the dream. Definitely that morning dew was out. And I remember thinking a lot of people are still asleep right now. Um, if I had to say a guess, I would say, you know, definitely before 6.30. I remember I couldn't get back into the house where I was and it was a different house. All of a sudden it was like a two story neighborhood house kind of looked like the area where I grew up in. Um, I was outside in the front lawn and I remember one thing I remember in this dream was there was a girl there and she, she was somebody in my family and she had been in my dream earlier uh, when I was originally at right before I went to the bathroom. I guess that's why I referenced it, but she was in that dream and I was talking to her and she was waiting for me to get out of the bathroom. I don't know. So this girl is sitting in a lawn chair in the driveway and she looks like she's prepared like to go out. Like her hair is all done real nice. She has uh, makeup done really well. Like she looks like to the T and I know this person. And I remember thinking in my dream, like she's a very holy person. Like if, if this is the rapture going on, like she's definitely going to be part of it. And there was a few people there. Like I, I didn't really I didn't pay attention to who they were. Well, as I'm standing on the lawn, I suddenly start to like rise. Like I start floating about five or 10 feet in the air. And at that point I was like, oh wow, like uh, like this is not possible. I, the rapture, I'm being sucked up into the rapture. Like I'm, I'm starting to slowly float, uh, float. 
And if you see me looking up, I have notes uh, behind the phone. Um, so eventually I got higher and higher and I started getting to like where I was at the top of the house and I started to kind of float back down and I felt in my heart, I was like, like, I want to, if I'm going to be in the rapture, like I want to go, I don't want to be stuck here. Like, take me. Like I started praying, like, take me. I started rising again. And then I, in, in, in the sky, there was like almost like a tree house looking type of thing. And I go into this tree house and there's a line of people waiting outside the tree house that goes inside the tree house. And at this point, I have my five-year-old son with me uh, in my arms and uh, he's currently five years old. I have him with me and um, next thing I know we're waiting in line and then he's like taken out of my arms like just starts floating up even higher and he goes way up above this house probably 100 or 200 feet there's no way I could get to him uh, in the dream and then a little portal of like light opens up and he like gets sucked into it and disappears into like thin air and I'm just kind of waiting. Well, I remember looking back uh, towards where the sun was to kind of see what the status of the sun was. And then at that point, there was like four or five suns next to each other, kind of like lined up. Like all of a sudden in the sky, it changed and there was multiple suns and they were very, very bright. Um, and it was a very clear day in my dream. Um, now, this is where the dream really got intense uh, and it almost really ends. I remember looking up into the sky as I'm, I'm, I'm currently in the sky. At this point, I've kind of gotten through the tree house. I'm starting to float again, like float upwards. And I see Jesus standing in the air with his feet kind of crossed and his hands out, kind of like, kind of like receive me, but I can't see his face because he's so far away. And it's realistic because normally I, I would wear glasses if I'm trying to see something long distance. I just don't see that well long distance. But in my dream, he had a white uh, garment on and you could see it was Jesus. Like you knew it was him the way he was standing. His hands were out almost like receive me. And he was still in the air by himself. And there, like he had to be able to be seen by everybody. And I just remember, I don't know if he was looking at me. I thought maybe he was, but I just remember yelling like, Jesus, I'm over here. Like, I'm over here. I'm right here. Like, take me, like, almost like the sense of, like, take me with you. Like, I'm right here. Like, can you see me? Um, and that was the end of the dream. And uh, I just felt like it was uh, definitely, definitely something I wanted to put out just because um, I know rapture dreams are very rare and they have a meaning. And there's some things in here that maybe somebody will watch that might maybe give some insight on what they think it means. Um, personally, I know that, um, when you think of the, the, about the parable of the 10 virgins, right? Five will be prepared. Five will not be keep filling up your, your lamp with oil, which to me, oil represents the word of God and his salvation, uh, praying and, and just really being ready. I'm trying to get better and better at, at, at being ready in case it happens in this lifetime. The only thing I could take from it is, is it a clue of the time frame? I mean, could it? If the person I saw in my dream, uh, my old boss was twenty, you no, know, twenty five years older. Is that is that like a like a clue? Like this could happen in twenty five years. I don't know. Um, time of day was that a clue? It was probably five forty five six. The sun had just kind of come up. Um, so yeah, that that's it. Thank you for uh, for watching, and please leave some comments if you uh, have any thoughts on that.